Welcome back. My name is Kaz. And I am Kiwi. Welcome. Today we begin Oswald's book. Oswald's book. The Black book. Sword. The Black Sword. Do you have black swords in your closet, Kaz? Just the two. Oh. Neither of which is the Beldery for mine. Raise that sword and the shadows draw closer, spreading the stench of death. But tenderness may exist in those inhabiting the darkness, while distress envelops those who would oppose it. Excellent. Top pedigree, Kaz. Top. And how do we start out but by killing a dragon? Oh yeah! That's very manly. As I thought, trying to avoid one's fate is like trying to stop the stars. Not even those who see the future can keep from carrying out their fates. Why were you holding back? I was open several times. Do not worry about me. Your Bell de Reaver is a weapon without peer. My time is up. Use my death to validate the claims of its power. Take my head, and announce your victory to the Commander of the Fairies. You should be aware that all this was caused by that country. But they did not hire me. My father specifically asked me to do this. He is not your father. Your real father is a man named Edgar. That means nothing. That is just the name of a man who abandoned a baby. Melvin is my only father. Even though I am human, he raised me as his own. Do not forget that when the time comes. You talk as if you know everything. Let me cease your tongues flapping. Shadow Master who threatens the darkness, seek the bird that shall be your destiny. <laughs> it is as Melvin said, as long as I have this Belt of Reaver, even the dragon shall fear me. Yeah, that was some like anti Disney stuff. There you Usually have the, it. The camera would pan away by that time. Well, this is the Oswald tutorial. What is there to learn? He, uh, he can Hulk out. Instead of having a guard, he does this. That attorney really, like, oh. That's not good. He gets yeah, tachycardic, it, it, your... it looks like. It drains your POW meter really fast, but you can attack a number of times while the Hulk out mode is on. I have a, I have Oswald's whole attitude is about managing that, you know, figuring out when the time to Hulk out is and when to just do regular strikes. Uh, they start you out with a mini boss here. It's uh, one of our friendly revenants. Friendly, friendly, uh, bear, mm. berry, berry manilo revenant. Oh yeah, very damn. Well, I guess he does have the bubbles or ice bubbles. And he, he does have the, the problem berry. is, and you you may have noticed this already, is that when uh, where'd he go? When when Oswald's third strike goes, he jumps up and then goes down and slashes. Well, when he leaps up, that's like right into the revenant's jaws. So this guy is really well suited to kicking my ass, in fact. And the intro battle is quite hard just because of that that fact. I tried poking out, but I didn't do enough damage because I'm at you know, level one. <laughs> wow, and you don't have anything to eat. Nope. That's pretty <laughs> You know, you start out with basically nothing. So if Cornelius has things shitting on him, what is uh our, well, our fellow little shadow knight. The thing, the thing about Oswald is that life already did its worst to him, more or less. My father. He's, 
conflicted about his father. Melvin raised him, and he's working as an assassin, basically, for the fairies. And he's more than a little bloodthirsty. Yeah. In his own way, he's very charming. Well, well, we'll get to the charms. Well, we already got to the charms once before, but this time it's from another angle. Greetings, Queen Elfaria. This is the strongest blade among all ciphers. It surpasses even the might of the Demon Lord's weapon, Baylor. Taste. I have heard that the power of the sword is enough to ward off curses. Hmm? Ah. Good. Leave us, Oswald. There is nothing to fear. We shall not be harmed. This allows us to perform otherwise dangerous feats, such as hunting dragons. What have you done? Are the rumors indeed true? Has Hindle been killed? They handled Hindle. This amazing sword can cut through a dragon's armored hide like butter. If this sword can be mass-produced, the lesser nations will kneel to us. Taste. Taste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone who does that, and I hope I never meet someone who does. What did the queen say? Well, Brom, the Queen highly praised the sword you created. But she hesitates to mass produce it. Tis frustrating. Aren't you afraid? I am terrified myself. Many have been taken by the sword's curse and have been turned into ghosts. ghosts. What fate awaits Oswald? Ghosts. Don't look so glum, Brom. Oswald shall be fine. He is a true swordsman. Oh. Melvin, the messengers are calling. I shall be there shortly. Brom, I suggest you do not concern yourself with this. It won't do you any good. I never should have crafted that weapon. Ah, it would part the heavens and tear the earth asunder. Someone looks oh, at don't go regret. giving yourself too much credit. Yeah. So. We are at Ringford Palace. The Demon Lord's daughters are evil. Oswald. They lead the Valkyries and gleefully I'm sorry, slaughter I keep all they to face like in battle. This, I mean, it's first time it for me to listen to this. It's too much to expect us to fight against such fiends. Okay, Demon Lord's daughters are evil. Got it. Death's apprentice. We shall not require the assistance of your despicable power. The unicorns and paladin will dispose of the Aesir threat. That's a uh, very paladin-like. Oh, Beldreva wielder, you are our pride and joy. <laughs> you are our pride and joy. <laughs> our people are scattered after the war between the fairies and the dwarves. Uh. Those who fled served the demon lord, while <laughs> those who failed to escape were captured and sworn to serve the fairies. We left our forges. Which meant everything This is to us. Trenya. We shall drink. But now the time has come for the Queen to realize our power. I hope you enjoy this as much as I. Sorry. Trenya. Don't come any closer! They say that sword is cursed! And as you come closer to her, <laughs> you are such a butt. Sometimes, Kaz. <laughs> Oswald, 
Do not place too much trust in Melvin. Or any, he really. Thinks nothing Wait, Brom's my father? Daddy! Let me prove it. Speak not of Melvin. I will not hear a word Melvin against you. Melvin the him. Elvin. Please, don't scowl at me like that. I'm just a local guide. How about a meal? This is just the way I look. I'm not scowling. I just... I just look like this, okay? Stop... Stop ripping me up around here, you know? Okay, does he have what I want? Nope. No bags. And, of course, having basically nothing, I can't get anything from Puka Village. So off we go to Nebulopolis. Nebulopolis. The Nebula Opulus Populus. See, I played with words, Cads. <laughs> Oswald, I must speak up. Listen to me. This is about the fate of your sword. What is it? It's going to be featured in a Disney I movie. Deeply My regret God. handing you that sword. That blade will take its wielder to the netherworld, where he loses his soul. And his wallet. Those remnants up in the mountains. They are former users of the Belder River. Dun dun dun. The same fate awaits from. I told you. It won't do you any good. <laughs> right now, your reluctance is holding back the war efforts of our nation. But it is not in my nature to soil my hands with the blood of my friends. I shall send you to the Netherworld. The Halia will take care of you. Take the traitor away! Well, it's tough being short. Lord Melvin! The pride that keeps you so fearless will be the thing that leads to your death! He fears the power of the sword and has lost his nerve. Don't concern yourself. Or are you beginning to despise the sword yourself? I... All I wish is to be able to continue serving you. I shall obey your commands. Ah, Oswald. I'm so lucky to have such a devoted son. Now, come here. I have a task which only you can perform. Oh, yeah! Tis reconnaissance into the very heart of the enemy. <laughs> Listen to that snake talk. It's, I mean, we learned that he's pretty despicable in Mercedes' story, but now we get the whole, the whole picture. It's called Flavor Town. And his flavor mm. town is sweet and sneaky. But you know what? That that is sort of to be expected. Sneaky Fay are even worse than like fe regular Fay. Think about it. Yeah, he's he's one of the like Faye? grim Fay with the teeth. Fay with the vendetta. Oh, so I have to say, I really love these statues when they crumble. It's just something I don't know why. It's just like the, maybe the satisfaction This is a pretty wonderful noise. It's like shattering a terracotta pot. Yeah. I always wanted to do that. I think I will do that one. Like, maybe five of them. Well, what we're, what we're seeing here is that little enemies are actually kind of a challenge for Oswald. Because his his hits don't go very far and cover very specific places, so you have to kind of well, you have to be better than I am here at, at positioning things, basically. His pose is pretty cool. I haven't quite gotten the hang of Oswald at this point. So hey, it's see Medibot. if Medibot has no, anything. I'm not an enemy. I'm, not. I'm just a traveling salesman passing Wait. through. It's Melvin's voice as long actor. As you have cash, I don't care who you are. <laughs> Melvin! Hey, I'm not an enemy. You know who's the, the, the ah. Queen's voice actor? Like the, the Queen Fae woman is 
um... Queen Elfaria. Queen Elfaria, yeah, that girl. Mm. <laughs> is, um, is, uh, Faye Valentine's voice actor. You know, in Cowboy Bebop? The one who always says... Wait, seriously? Sexy. Yeah, and Fujiko. Yep. I can, I can hear it. I can hear it. Actually, they had a lot of really good American anime <laughs> And I know, I think they can. Yeah. Well, early dubs in American. <laughs> because the localization and translation wasn't good. And as the years progressed, Honestly, I, I like bad localization as a, as a thing. Spe specifically in kung fu movies. Where you get those, like, okay, awkward, that's... stilted, quasi-British guys who are like, What? You son of a bitch? Ah! This, this guy you thinks know... he knows kung fu. Yeah, I, I, I understand. <laughs> it's, just, it's wonderful. It is pretty nice. Oh, there you go. Got a good little chunk out of his health there. And since I'm pretty bulky, he can't do very much to me. Uh... See, look at that! Ah, all of his weight, only to do 20 more. Ah, he's fairly tough. That's a that's a thing too. If you get hit and knocked on your uh, on your butt, they'll knock you out of the uh, Hulk out mode. You're down to four. No, that's, that's oh, fine. and you had to crit at the very like. Uh... Yeah, we probably could have used that at uh, an earlier moment. Would have been nice. Anyway, I'm really behind on my food, so it's time to grow some mulberries and see if I can't get Oswald a little uh, meat on his bones. I'm gonna make some healing potion, obviously. Like, you had all those carotenes and, like, mm -hmm. bottles. Did you do that? Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's why I have 99 health here and. Carotene. Wait, no, no, I gained a food level, that's what did it. But anyway, I'm certain that at some point in this map, I do make a healing potion and use it. Because there are a lot of characters hanging around. Well, I mean, it is like, you know, Debulopulous. I mean, it is kind Almost of Almost like an method. insulting number. And here's the thing. You can't go back to Nebulopolis and revisit it like you can with other areas. Even yeah. though, you know, I've been here as Oswald, I, I can't go back to it. It's frustrating because they have a lot of characters here, and if you're trying to get them for a recipe for alchemy, well, there, there aren't better places. Well, a shame. There's some places, like there's that forest thing, the Forest of Feelings. The Forest of Elric. Yeah. yeah. The Forest of Feelings. That place is mostly onions. It, it, can, it can drop most any Magigora, though. Pretty Whoa. Again, yeah, you damn. Have to be really, yeah, you have to be careful around those bombs because even at this level they can pretty much kill you. And the little dwarves will near always drop one when they uh, when they get knocked down, whether or not it's the killing blow. See, that guy has multiple attacks with his axe, and they have different ranges, and I get confused. It's a good thing they're kind of wussy at this level. Everything keeps giving Oswald money. I kind of like this pattern. I yeah. like money. Oh, I oh Kaz, Kaz, I saw a really good movie. Well, kind of movie. kind of like B movie, but good movie. Okay, what what was it? Uh, like Ironicus or ironic? It's like with idiocracy. You heard of that before? Oh no. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, Please no, no. Oh, I can't god. take it. Oh god. I have watched that movie to completion and I refuse to talk about it. Yet. Okay, well, it was okay. It was okay once. I will never watch it again. Yeah, that that's pretty much my feelings on it, honestly. So can you can you draw phasers from a scene if the, the butterfly is like right underneath where you plant the seed. Well, what you can do is just sort of turn your cipher draw on a little bit, and then some phosons will pop out of the butterfly, and then you can release it, and it will just be free floating, and then they can go into the seed. Okay. 
Okay, there is apparently still someone alive on the map. That's, oh, that's no, something. Oh no, that's gonna take so long. Oh, uh. it's just it's probably just one guy. I don't I don't know where he is. The good thing is that your double jump Mary. pretty much like is process. He jumps faster than he runs, and he runs pretty damn fast. Anyway, that's enough of him. Ooh, Let's move on. Get it! Get it! Oh my gosh, it's so invasive! It's not to happen. It's kind of hard when you can only see half of the screen. He's running through the other half of it. Okay, maybe this one will be Medibot. Let's let's cross our fingers. Please. Oh. No. Oh damn it. Now that you've seen me, I can't let you live. I, I, I have seen nothing. Is there anything you need? I, I'll sell you anything. Anything but my life. Wow, that's very forced. It was a very forced, like, like Russian accent kind of thing. And then, <laughs> very he forced. blithely goes back about, you know, selling you whatever. I can use these. Oswald is hungry, hungry. All right, well, it's time for a very difficult fight. Oh no, where's the leader? Oh, there she is. Yeah, she started out on the left. She's the target right now, but she's kind of hard to track because she blends in with the others and is bulky. Look at that bulk. So she is supposed to be is like an imitation of uh, yeah, Gwendolyn. Use the same avatar in her Hmm. You're stepping on. Yeah. Her head. Well. Come on. Why? Why redo your work? Why redo your work when you can make? Anyway, what, another thing that makes you know these all a whole swarm of little enemies kind of hard for Oswald to deal with is that at this level he does not have Cyclone. Like most of the others start out with Cyclone. Yeah. Uh, Oswald starts out with he has Invisible. So he can avoid damage. Which doesn't really Which help if you don't have is... anything alchemied up. So no napalm. Yeah, it, no it doesn't. It doesn't help right now. And there aren't any onions really around, so I can't make napalm. You can make probably damage. poison. The Honestly, the best thing for it is to to do it just to be like impossible to damage for a little bit and heal up. Yeah, it's. Because nice sometimes you're just you know that close to dying and. Yeah, really. Three whole, like, three, 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 You'll notice that with Oswald, I'm, I'm sitting at 6 Cypher level and 7 Food level. And this is going to be pretty consistent throughout the whole thing. I need to keep him fed because he just... It, it's impossible to avoid damage with Oswald the same way it is with some of the other characters. Especially Mercedes. She can just sort of play keep away that, you know, and Oswald can't. He has to get close. Has to get his hands dirty. That somewhat speaks to his character, too. He is a hitman. He is, uh... He's a man. He's doing Melvin's dirty work right now. He's in the business of dirty business. The dirty dirty and the stinky stinky. Uh, uh the... not so much the stinky part, but we'll get to that, too. Well, I so. mean, come on. Do dragons bathe? Okay, some dragons do. But not I'll all. bet Hindle did bathe. Actually, he was, you know, because he's the the wise future-seeing dragon. He could probably foresee himself stinking up a storm and decides, as a noble dragon, it would be better to, you know, clean himself. I don't know exactly how dragon scales molder, but you know, I, yeah. They molder. I think the only good thing that I like about these statues is that if you do not go past them. They do stay where they're at, and they're usually yeah. grouped. 
Yeah, you can see the, the ones over on the left there. You have to pass them in order, in order to activate them. That time I was able to take the whole lot out really quickly before they could disperse. The shadow form is very good for taking care of a whole bunch of enemies really quickly. Um, if there are any left over, they will probably kick your ass, though. Like, so it's to be used sparingly against bosses and only in specific ways. Sparingly and tactically. Well, this guy shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm sitting on 8 and 8, whereas before I was something at like 3 and 2 against the other guy. Yeah. So this guy has more backup, but... Uh, oh, he's right next to a bomb! Yes! Player. Yes! Oh, yeah! Sorry. He didn't like that very much, I don't think. No. He was on fire, in fact. You could see the little flame recovered message pop up. Ah, that was Here's another... <laughs> a lot closer than I really wanted to cover. And that's something else you can sort of see. If, um... If you just leave a bunch of Fozons floating around, you can hulk out and then run out of it and then quickly absorb them and be ready to go right away. It's a neat little tactic. I gotta say, Odin's army is pretty vast for having this kind of... this kind of unit count around just for scouting or whatever... Oswald is supposed to be doing here. Well, look at Infiltration. the background, Kaz. I mean, those are all houses. Houses. Well, we saw nothing like this from the Fae. What, did they live in flowers? Yeah. Well, well, actually, they might. But they still. Lived in a, they lived in a hive. So, Kaz, they're hive line. to the Fae. They all think of like, a queen for the most part. Oh, so, so that's why they have a queen. Yeah, it's like, a, like honey. It's like... Honey. Have a and, yeah. Oh yeah, I like when those crits come out, like actually. Yeah. The only neat part about his attack pattern while he's in shadow form is that his like combo is really short. It's like two or three hits. So you can like hit once and then immediately crit out of the next hit. Kinda kinda crazy. You also take less damage, you hit for more, you hit more quickly. Yeah. Healing up. What next? Where, 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 where? Oh, boss. Well, it's time to go after the boss. The bots! Finally through the area after, you know, infiltrating, air quotes. <sighs> oh! The Demon Lord will hear this and be dumbfounded. Odin, you coward! Denying my strategy and launching a sneak attack with the Valkyries. Tis a timid move to make against the fairies. Ugh, exactly. All we have Wizard to do is stop those time. winged bugs on the front lines. All of you! You're all cowards! Lord Brigand, methinks you might be more suitable to lead the country. You think so? You flatter me, Skaldi. Do you really think that? Yes, of course. Odin is a feeble old man. Only you can run the nation. Eh? Who goes there? What? Is someone hiding? And just who are you? You'd like to share a drink with us, huh? If not, don't interfere. Wait a minute. You were listening to us just now, weren't you? Who are you? Speak, speak, speak. Speak, or I'll crush your head until your name falls out. And like that, we have to fight him. The gentleman's battle. What I mean by gentleman is Oswald is a gentleman, and that's about it. 
<laughs> and what I mean by gentleman's battle is I will crush your head until your name falls out. <laughs> For all the reasons that Oswald is terrible at fighting swarms of little enemies, he's rather great at fighting General Brigham. His attacks put him in a position to get out of the way of a lot of Brigham's moves. He gets a lot, of, a lot of hits in quickly to knock his shields off. Doesn't take much damage from Brigham's various moves. He is a man, after all. Men are naturally a little bit more better at dealing with dealing stuff. And he's a man with a belt. That also helps. I think that's the biggest thing. He, like, got hit in the head and only got six points. That would, like, completely <laughs> kill us if we were, like, Gwendolyn. Like, rah! That was a little greedy of me going for the little uppercut. Really wanted to get that last shield off it. It's very annoying. That guy. <laughs> and he's thinking the same thing, so. He, goes, he uh, probably needs it more than you, anyways, because he needs to run off that chest here. And it's like, yeah, keep on the. Keep yourself clean. God, Eggman. The twin Sonics. What Look at that. that, I stole a gourmet ring from him. Wow! <laughs> yeah, so perfect for this guy. Got the little Sonic the Hedgehogs on his pauldrons. Oh no! Oh no, no. Can't have the no interfering here. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't die the first time. You need to battle them. So he is after the cauldron. You know, infiltration. The general spoke the truth. The invasion is almost here. <laughs> Princess Gwendolyn, it fits you perfectly. Do you think so? I wonder if Father will be surprised. Gwendolyn, why are you wearing that? For King Odin's daughter to be concerned with her image instead of battle. You could learn a thing or two from your sister. M my apologies. Your Majesty, Lord Brigham. What is that fool doing now? He didn't notice. He did. This was Mother's dress. I wonder if he'll ever remember it. I apologize. I shouldn't have brought the dress. No, don't apologize, Miris. I'm happy to be able to wear my Mother's dress. But... Princess Gwendolyn... Let's go. I must change into my armor. Gwendolyn, the demon lord's daughter known as Odin's witch. Could that be her? She seems so different from what I've heard. Birds.